How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm continuing to work on my neighbor's Tundra. So today we're going to be replacing the brake pads on his vehicle. So right here we have the brake pads. I already did go ahead and remove the wheel and have the vehicle supported by jack stands. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. To make it easier, I did go ahead and turn the steering wheel to the right so that we can go ahead and work on the caliper. We're going to start off by removing this metal clip on the inner side of the caliper. I'm going to use needle nose pliers to just pry this out. Next we're going to go ahead and remove this retaining clip right here. So just push this down and pull the pin out. We're going to do the same thing to the top. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this clip out of the way. It's just clipped onto the side of the brake pads. And then finally we're going to remove the brake pad itself. So I'm going to use uh, some pliers to pry these out. Now, when you guys are installing your replacement brake pads, they're not going to fit because the pistons on the calipers are fully extended out. So you have to compress the pistons back into the caliper. There's different ways to do this and a lot of people don't like it when you pry something in here and try to um, press it in. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. And um, I'm going to be using the actual brake pad, the one that came on the caliper to do this. Um, some people use a fly head, different people use different techniques. But the main thing that you want to take from this is to just be careful and not to do it too fast because inside of the piston there is a seal and you don't want to tear it up by doing this so just go nice and smooth. So like I said I'm going to be using the stock brake pads to help me push the pistons back into the caliper. Next, what I'm going to do is put some brake caliper grease on the back side of the brake pad to minimize any noises. Install your brake pads back onto the caliper. Install the brake hardware back on. When you're putting this on, you want to make sure that the piece right here is facing down instead of facing up. Now this replacement did come with two of these, so I'm going to put them both back on. Install the other pin. Next, go ahead and install the last clip that secures the slide pins. Now, for these, if they're not in the right place, you can use your needle nose pliers to secure them.
And that's pretty much how you do the front brakes on a 2007 Toyota Tundra. Now this is going to apply from the years of 2007 all the way up to 2014 I believe. As long as you have this same style caliper setup. Now one of the last things that you want to do is go ahead and pump up your brakes to make sure that they're nice and stiff. But other than that you should be pretty much set to go. If you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.